What's going on, everybody? Thought we would uh, talk about my uh, reservoirs that I have that's feeding my drink to waste hydro garden down there. All right, so uh, we got a 27 gallon water reservoir tank right here, just filled plain water. And that's my nutrient reservoir. And both reservoirs are being pumped with there with this commercial air pump, right? There's two stones in each reservoir. So this water reservoir tops off my nutrient reservoir at every feed. And it's controlled by a, a float valve that I have in here. So as you can see, everything's recirculating. Got my water pump in there, air stones, float valve. Float valve would just maintain a constant water level. It will not overfill or anything like that. Let's discuss these ball valves I have right here. So this half inch ball valve is my return line that recirculates my nutrients. This is my when I need to empty out my reservoir and you know do my maintenance, clean out my tank, my pump, filters, etc. You know, I'll flush it out right here. That half inch ball valve actually feeds my garden down there. And flushes everything out when I'm here I have it recirculating right but when I'm not home and I'm working you know out and about doing my thing I'll close this return line open up that have my water pump on a timer so my water pump is off and only will turn on at those three feeding schedules so uh, let me show you the timer so here's my Titan control timer. Sorry about the focusing guys, I'm using my phone. <laughs> so yeah, I have a program for three feeds a day. So yeah. So the only thing I have to worry about is just making sure I have water in this reservoir. So every time I get home, I'll fill up this tank again. I think about like 25 gallons of water or 26 about. So yeah, I mean, I like I said, I'll definitely be doing this setup again next year. I love it. It's actually saved me so much time. And uh, yeah, as you can see, my plants are loving it too. All right, everybody. Well, uh, you guys take care, all right?